We are back with Dr. Natalie Gentili for Wellness Wednesdays. And today she brought along a friend, therapist Blake Waterworth, to talk about how gut health can play a role in your mental health. Thank you both for coming here. Yeah, thanks for thanks having us. Thanks for having us. And you know, I've heard this theory, I guess it's not even a theory anymore, there's truth to it, about how these two are connected, how what we eat can really affect our mood and a lot more. Yes, absolutely. So you are what you eat. Um, it doesn't mean that you're gonna go turn into a hot dog, but <laughs> absolutely nutrition does affect our mental health in a big way. Yeah. Dr. Gentili, how did you bring this into your practice? What, what's so important about this for you? Yeah, so my work as a lifestyle medicine physician means, as we've talked about before, I'm looking at how people eat, move, sleep, their mental health. And Blake and I are actually colleagues, so I take care of people's mental and physical health, but a lot of times I need to call in the experts. And so we share a lot of patients where we're talking about their physical and mental health connection. And so today we're talking specifically fermented foods, and we have cabbage here. Yes. Yes. Why this? Yes, so the bacteria that's created okay. through the process of fermenting cabbage uh, is very beneficial for our gut, for a very healthy gut. Healthy gut makes a good mood. It's as simple as that. You said, I mean, really within like 10 to 15 minutes, you, if you're eating this on an empty stomach, you might actually feel a true change in your mood, like less anxiety even. Yes, absolutely. That's Absolutely. incredible. And yeah. why is that happening? You, you mentioned something about new bacteria entering. Yes. So we're going to be creating an environment for bacteria called lactobacillus bacteria um, to change our gut uh, microbiome. Now, we have a workshop on June 10th um, at the Rebel Wellness uh, Kitchen Space. We're going to be talking more about this, get more in depth. But essentially, the bacteria in our gut affect the chemicals in our body. So we have 500 million neurons just in our gut alone. It's crazy. That are all connected back to our brain. We have 95% of our serotonin receptors are in our gut. That's insane. So, and why are we just now finding this out? Well, uh, a lot of it's preliminary. It's a long story. Yeah, yeah, a lot of this is preliminary. And if you think about it, we sell a lot of medications that help with mental health, but to talk about food and talk about what you can bring into your own kitchen yeah. is not a big money maker. You yeah. know, so these are things that we're just learning about now and starting to uncover in research and things that you can apply at home into your daily habits. Well, and let's be honest, even if it doesn't work for you, what, there's nothing, there's no harm to it. It's right. not like you're going out of your way and spending a ton of money on something that, you know, it's, it's literally a head of cabbage, some garlic, and what are we adding to it? So that's pretty much it. So it's a head of cabbage sliced up, smash some garlic if you want. Then Natalie's gonna come over here. Okay. And she's going to add it to a bowl on the scale there. So I'm turning on my scale and I'm putting the bowl on top just so we have the weight of that. Then we zero that out mm -hmm. and add our cabbage and our garlic. And wh where do we want this to be? Is there a specific like ratio of something that we we're looking for? Yeah, so it's a tablespoon of salt per pound of whatever is in your bowl. Okay. So we've got a little bit over a pound here. So we're gonna add this tablespoon of salt in. And if you have kids at home and you're making this and they're around, this is where they jump in. So because what you're gonna do- This is where we want you to yeah. jump in. Okay, <laughs> I want to jump hands. in here too. Okay. So what you're gonna do after you put the salt on is just get in there good, start squeezing, start munching, start crunching. And how long has this been sitting? Like when, when are you gonna uh, see that's this? That's been sitting for about a half an hour. Okay. But again, we haven't really touched that. So if you wanna just sprinkle salt on it and leave, go do something outside, go have fun doing something else, it'll come back looking And like this is it. what you're, and it's like, I don't, you probably can't see this at home, but it almost looks wet. So it we're is, gonna, yes. it is wet. That is. salt really helped to pull out the moisture. Yes, in the cabbage. Pull, pulling out the moisture of the vegetables. So nothing has left the vegetables, nothing has been cooked, yeah. nothing has been heated. Um, it's a very important that it's different than a pickling process. I was gonna ask that, yeah. So there's no vinegar and there's no hot water. It smells like coleslaw. <laughs> it smells great, right? It smells great, yeah. Smells so that's, like... that's the smell of the fermentation process already starting. That's already starting. Already so starting. Yeah. How do you know when you've reached the perfect level of fermentation? That's a great question. So about three days in the jar like this, okay. the lactobacillus bacteria has colonized and is, it's the dominant bacteria in there. Um, every couple of days or a day or so after you get this jar, you want to burp it. Okay, Open just, it, just let, let the air let out. Let the CO2 out, so it's going to build up. Yeah. Um, I've been guilty of not burping it, and they it can pop. So I'm going to okay. rinse my hands, but we are yeah. actually going to quickly try this. Oh, well, there we go. 
And I told you, I wish that I still had my sinus infection because then maybe. <laughs> and we should hear the should... burp. Like, what's the burp supposed to be like? Well, the burp is just gas coming out. Sometimes it's a lot, sometimes it's a little. That was a little, <laughs> a little burp. And so there's um, just like, you put a little bit on the top, right? You, oh, oh, so yes, yeah, so you it. can take. Oh, you can smell it. Yes, okay. you, and Blake had taught me that your kitchen may smell like you're doing a little bit of fermenting, yeah, it's potentially, and that's a normal thing. But it's thing. not going to smell. Now, a little tangy, a little, what do you think? I'm very sensitive to things, and that's not bad. No, it's not bad. <laughs> I could eat a little right? bit of that a day if it's going to improve my mood. Yeah. So that's Absolutely. the key, Heather, is when we're incorporating more fiber or fermented foods into our diet, we need to take it slow. So yeah. if you're going to incorporate a bunch, like that whole jar, you're not going to feel very good. Right. A lot of bloating, maybe some Just gastrointestinal discomfort, way. but a little bit goes a long way. Thank you guys so yeah. much. Really you're appreciate welcome. it. Thanks for letting me try that. No problem.